Okay, there's a question from my audience about it would be great to see how you recommend the use of text. Now, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to effectively use the text or how I actually use the text inside my OneNote. Okay, so the key category for the text that I normally use uh, falls under these two categories. One is related to tasks and projects. Okay, means these are something that you need to do or a reminder for, you, for me to do something, right? All references, okay, references can be, or you can call it bookmark. So what you need to do is that you just go to the home, all right, home tab over here, and then under here, these are your tags. And I think my one is already customized. You can see that these are things that usually I use, yeah? So all you need to do is you sort the things that you commonly use in the top, right? So from the top. So I usually use these are the things that I, I mean, the text I normally use. I put it at the top. It's so easy for me to go in and to use it rather than I got to scroll down and search. Yeah. As some of you know that from my previous video, now I use most of my to-do using Microsoft to-dos. So I no longer use it like to do over here unless in my meetings and I have some key to do's so I'll write over here before I transfer it to Microsoft to do's okay so these are the the tags that I commonly use so how do you customize it so very simple you just need to go over here customize text at the bottom and then you can see all this right what you do is let's say I want this idea to be the top one you just click here and up and down and uh, sort it okay so what my recommendation is to sort your top 10 tags. Normally, you won't use more than 10 tags, right? The top 10 tags should be on the top so they're easy for you to find and use it, okay? So this is how you, you sort it. The one that you need to click up and down. Now, if there are some, let's say, for example, the, the here. If I want to change this, right, it's already address so i want to change this to maybe an uh, email address or so on you can do that right just click modify and then you can change this to become an email address yeah and then you can change the symbol okay to an email and then you can save it all right so i'm not going to save it right over here now if you do not have an email i don't think maybe I already change it right there's no like email addresses right over here so you want to change that address to email addresses by all means do that or you can create a new pack yeah and then call it emails and then symbols okay i can put an uh, email symbols like this yeah and then if you want to highlight the colors okay let me click this first so you got an email right and then you want to do something like codes like this yeah just say for example, okay, let me click this. Let's say I want to put, put a quotes, okay? All right, so if this is a quotes, then all I need is I go here and then I can click it over here. You see, when I click this, yeah, it's already tagged and it automatically highlight green color for you as per the tag. So you can do the same thing, let's say, this is a email address at uh, email.com, something like that, right? So when I do this, the tag, yeah? Now come over here, this is how the email. I can put email, then it, it will have this, right? Now, if I go and modify, I can just remove the tag and then just go customize the tags and then go find the email right then i just modify the tag i can select a highlight color right so if i want to highlight it as a blue okay so now let me try i already removed the tag now i want to you tag it again you can see that it will automatically highlight as the blue yeah now this is how you use the tag so first, sort the top 10 that you want to use up here. So easy for you to find. And then you can customize 
the tag. Now, once you have that tag, the beauty is you can go search the tags. So, I mean, just go search the tag. Then you can have the tag name. Yeah. So group tags by tag name or what, right? Now, so what I go to do is here, I can search this page group, right? Now over here, because this is a demo, I only have like one page. Yeah. So here means that this page, I have two tags. One is the codes and another one is the email. Okay. Now, if I go to other pages, right, and I search here, okay, I want to find this email, I can click here, it will bring me back to this email. Okay, so this is a page because I don't have a page crew. Let's say here, let me, let's say, create, okay, a uh, group. So let me pull this under this page group. So this will be under the using text page will be under this page group. You can see, right? There's a toggle. Okay. Then I can create another page. Cast page. Yeah. And then this is drag yeah, under the group. So this is the page group. So now if I put something, let's say some movie to watch. Okay. And then I can highlight here. Let's say I want some movie to see. Yep. So I just tag it. So if I go here, the groups. Let me refresh the result. Okay. You can see that all the pages that has tag under this group. Can, you can search it right over here. Yeah. So now, besides that, of course, you have this. This is called section. If you uh, want to search something in your meeting section. Just close here and then you can do search this section. Right, of course, this section has nothing. So here it gives you the options to search through all these. Yeah. So you can go and play around with this. So this is how you use the tag inside Microsoft OneNote. And let me go back to the page. Okay. Using tag over here. And you can see most of the tags are used to help you to refer back to something or to do like project A, project B, okay? So if you have more to do priority one, two, three, or client requests, you can create this inside over here, yeah? So I hope this simple video will show you how to use the tag, which is a very useful function inside Microsoft OneNote. And by the way, I'm Andrew. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And uh, do subscribe to our channel so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. And here's some video that we created earlier. I hope it will help you to boost your work productivity. I'll see you real soon in my next video.